Hey everybody, I'm Lindsay Adler and I'd like to take you through a photo deconstruct. I'm going to take one of my images and show you everything that went into making that image from the concept to the lighting to the post-processing. So today's image, I want to show a very cool in-camera creativity, uh, a shot that looks like a painting. Now my inspiration for this shot was actually an artist named Marilyn Minter. If you look up her work, it's uh, a lot of paintings and images through glass and you see this beautiful smeared texture sometimes it's fog and my idea is not to do exactly what she did but instead just be inspired of shooting through glass to make the photo have an interesting texture through it so here's a look at the final image what I want to do is I want to take you back to the beginning and take a look at the lighting and a little bit behind the scenes so in this behind the scenes photo let's start with our main light so the main light you can see up top and what it is it's a bare bulb basically no modifier at all. And that's going to give me really hard light. And the reason I like that is the hard light is going to emphasize the texture on that glass. Now, you can see the glass held in front. It's simply a piece of plexiglass. It's like a, a quarter of an inch thick. Got it really cheap, really inexpensively on Amazon. And to give me that interesting texture, it's nothing fancy, nothing expensive. All it is, is some Vaseline. So I went around to the corner store pharmacy, took a container of Vaseline, scooped it out with my fingers, smeared it on the glass, and when I was doing so, I was trying to make some interesting patterns so that I would actually be able to see more than just a smear, actually have some kind of, uh, almost like a painterly brush stroke. All right, so the main light, the bare bulb, is going to emphasize that texture. And I kept the subject pretty close to the plexiglass, the further away that she would be, the more out of focus she would be. Uh, and so I actually varied the distance to see which effect I liked best. I wanted the texture to be more in focus and her more out of focus. So let's actually look at the gear. I was shooting with a Canon 5D Mark IV. It's kind of my go-to camera and a 70 to 200. So I was able to get nice tight shots. And then for my camera settings, I was shooting one 200th of a second F8 ISO 400. Now, the only thing that really matters here is my aperture. Um, I could have tried a narrower depth of field if I wanted to just have the texture in focus, but I, I kind of played around with it. So it was the right balance between good texture, uh, good focus on the texture and the subject out of focus. And that's a balance between the distance and my aperture I chose. Now, lastly, there's one thing I wanted to point out that it ended up not making a difference in my photo. But if you take a look over on the right hand side behind that V flat, I have uh, another light that was on the background. It was actually a light with a grid that just put a little bit of light on the background. I didn't know if I wanted separation. In the end shot, it ends up not being important, but at times I'd turn it up if I wanted to see a little bit more of the outline of her face. The only other thing in this scene is that I have V-flats. The reason I had V-flats is because with that bare bulb, the light goes everywhere. And so what was happening, if I wanted a lot of contrast, some of the light was bouncing off of the walls and it was giving me fill and it was kind of decreasing the overall pop, pop, like pop and contrast of the shot. So we put up the V-flats to control this spill of light. All right, so let's go back over and take a look at the final shot. So this is what we ended up with, but I wanna show you what it looked like out of my camera. So this image is a straight out of camera shot just plain raw, no processing, no Photoshop, no nothing. So this is what it looked like out of my camera. But I do a lot of raw processing. So in either Capture One or Lightroom, I play around with white balance, with contrast, with clarity, with all of those things. So this is the straight out of camera, but this is what it looked like in Lightroom. And so you see quite a big difference there. The difference is a lot of contrast, pumped up the contrast a lot, I also used a lot of clarity. And then one other thing that I did, which is a favorite of mine, is I warmed up the white balance. And what it does is it makes the whole picture look really golden, but then it looks a little bit too yellow. So I decreased some of the saturation. So it gives me this warm and really beautiful contrast over the whole photo. And then I was looking at this image for when I took it over into Photoshop and it needed almost nothing. But I thought that some of the highlights on the side of the frame, uh, around the face, some of the textures on the face, just some of those little highlights were distracting. So I went in and I removed them to get to my final shot. And I added just a little bit more contrast, specifically to emphasize her jawline, darken down the edges of the frame, really to bring the focus into her eye and the cheekbone and the texture in the photograph. So. This photo, even though I used two lights, could easily be done with just one light and a bare bulb, meaning 
no modifier at all. And then it's the plexiglass with Vaseline. So it's actually a really simple concept, but it makes a really beautiful in-camera technique. I'm Lindsay Adler, and if you want to see more of these, stay tuned to my YouTube channel.